I did a survival series with my sanctuary, with my underwater base, and both times I had to leave. So hopefully third time's the charm. Hey guys, this is Crafterman, and welcome to the very first episode of my Paradise Island survival series. So, in my last survival series, I was surviving underwater, and I made a nice little base, but I gave, um, I gave the base to a sheep, and now I was given this beautiful island that's uh, being protected. So, it's safe to build here, and yeah, so I've been thinking about what I'm going to build. I'm going to build, like, a really big house next to that volcano or something. So, I don't want to waste any time. I want to find diamonds by the end of this episode. So, in this episode, I'm not going to be building that much. I'm mostly just going to be gathering resources as quickly as possible. And, yeah, I, I don't want to waste any time. So... I've made more survival worlds than I count, and I've made four separate... I've started from scratch in survival four separate times in this world, first being my green plateau and then these three survival series. So, yeah, I get, like I said, I'm wasting no time. All I'm focused on right now is going to be gathering resources, so not really building. So I'm just going to make a temporary... set up a temporary shelter inside the volcano. Uh, let me try to parkour my way up up here, and yeah, then I'm gonna go mining once I once I set this up. So I have a pretty good amount of wood. So now let's make just one one pickaxe, and I'm gonna get three of these, and then I'll make a stone pickaxe. And yeah, I don't think I'll even need an axe. So then I make a stone pickaxe, and then I mine some fun fun coal so I can make some fun torches, and yeah, then I'll be off. So, uh, like, I bet you're wondering, if, especially if you're new to this channel, why there's a volcano and, like, palm trees there, because those don't normally spawn in regular Minecraft. It's because this is not a normal Minecraft world. It used to be modded, but the mods were removed, so I still have cool modded uh, terrain and biomes without actually having to have any mods installed. So this, yeah, this is a vanilla server, but since it used to, this world used to be modded, yeah, I have the benefits of having had that. Okay, now uh, I gotta find some iron. So if you go down this way, you'll see like the, the center of the volcano. It'll be a bit, a uh, bit dangerous, and you know what, maybe I'll make a sword, because there's a creeper over there. It'll be a bit, bit risky, but, oh, no, that's a button. It'll be a bit risky, but nothing I haven't handled before. So I just gotta not burn in lava, because now I used to have keep inventory on, but since I'm um, in the turret, since this is protected by the Duralon Empire, I do not have keep inventory on. So if I die, I die. And I actually lose all of my stuff. I, I no longer have my own private territory. Like, the way it works on this server is you keep your inventory if you die in your own territory, but you lose it if you die somewhere else. And, yeah, so this will be more of an authentic survival series than I've ever done. There's going to be no cheating here, no mining five billion diamond blocks off camera, definitely in survival, none of that. Just, just pure, pure vanilla survival. Ah! Okay, yeah, that did not hurt me, not hurt me very badly, so let's try to find some, try to find some iron. Okay, I don't see any iron here. I'll just search the perimeter of this thing. I'll be very... Okay, there's some iron down there. Be very careful to not burn in lava. I'm literally inside a volcano. I'm glad that temperature doesn't really exist in Minecraft. I think it kind of does when it comes to biomes, but I am rambling on too much about things that are not important. What's important, what's important is finding this iron and then making some iron tools. I think maybe two iron pickaxes should be enough. Okay, so I can block off this stuff. And, yeah, so I think I, I'm going to want three more iron. Okay, so, okay, this will be more than enough. Then I go back up, then I smelt it. I smelt everything. And then I'm going to go down and look for some diamonds. And once I have that, no, actually, before I do that, there's something I was going to do that I kind of forgot to do. I need to set up a farm. I, uh, I'm already running low on food, 
so I need to set up a farm before I do anything else. So, okay, I got some of this coal. This is a, this is a good amount of coal. So now, how do I get out of this place? Do I just, uh, do I just pile up? Okay, how, how far up is the thing that I came from? Do I just, just walk up here or something? Okay, where is the, wh where did I come from? Did I come from up here? Okay, there, uh, that, is that lava? That is lava. Okay, where, yeah, where did, did I come from? Did I come from here? Okay, uh, yes, indeed I did come from there. Alright, my crafting table's here, now it's time to make a furnace. And smelt some of this iron, and while I am doing that, I will make a, make a farm. Start to make a little farm. So, make a hoe, and make a shovel. Yep, it's time to go down here and make a farm. Because I am, I have no food with me. I kind of could have brought some from one of my last survival bases, but that would have been very authentic, because I just wanted to start from scratch here. wanted to challenge myself. So, uh, I'm just going to gather as many seeds as I can without really destroying the terrain. Because I always, I love the way this biome looks. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to try to cut down as few trees as possible over the course of this um, this series. I'm only going to cut down trees closest to where I'm going to build the house. I'll also try to not destroy that many flowers either. Okay, so we got a we got a good we got a good spot. Okay, so I guess I'll just wait until these things grow. Hopefully, I'm not going to like starve to death while I'm while I'm mining or anything. Okay. Uh, let's see how our iron's doing. I think we'll have enough, um, I think we'll have enough iron to make a pickaxe. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we will. Okay, I, I'm gonna make a staircase some, at some point. Okay, good. We have, we have exactly what we need. We have enough for two pickaxes and a sword. This is a perfect amount of stuff. And yeah, we are good. It is... Okay, it's time to go mining. It's time to look for some diamonds. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the volcano thing and then I'll start mining from there. I gotta go down to layer 11 to find diamonds. Yeah, so I'm wasting no... I'm wasting no time doing this. Uh, I'm just gonna use dirt to sort of make a staircase downwards so that I can actually get out of this... get out of this place when I come back. Okay, is this does this work? Yep, this works. That that's good enough. Okay, so now I guess I can just wish I, I'll go down from here because this is kind of where I was. So I'm gonna make a staircase down. Okay, I'm at layer 62. What? I thought I would. I'm not really still that high up. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be quite a long staircase to dig. You know what? I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a bad boy. I'm being a very bad boy right now. I am digging straight down. This is especially dangerous digging straight down under a volcano because you know I, I even hear some lava. Let me uh turn up my oh my volume already is up. I just have turned up on my computer. Yeah, it's I hear lava, so digging straight down is very dangerous. But I'm a, I'm a very bad boy. That's what every when when she says she likes bad boys. I just show her the video of me digging straight down. Okay, this lava is bubbling very loudly. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe I'm not that bad. Maybe I'm gonna be a, a little bit cautious. Just a little bit. So I, hopefully I can just use the dirt to pile up. I'm also not really gonna build out of cobblestone, so I don't really need to save my cobblestone. I can just use that to, oh, yes. Okay, we found a nice little cave. I was very lucky. Sometimes, actually, I honestly, I, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this. This is a controversial opinion. But I think digging straight down is usually worth the risk. It saves a lot of time, and the it's it, it's a bit of a risk, but the chances that you will burn in lava from digging straight down are still relatively low, especially if you bring a water bucket, which I didn't. But you know what I mean. It's it's not as much of a danger as people say it is. Like if you buy a Minecraft handbook, they'll say, "Oh, never never dig straight down. It's you're gonna die." No, you're, you're not. No, most likely you're not. You're much more likely to be blown up by a creeper who sneaks up behind you than blown up by lava. So, yeah, there are some pools of lava here. You just gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Uh, okay, um, I, I do want to find some iron. I also want to find some gold at some point, because I like gold. 
Man, ever since the Nether update, gold's been so much easier to find, so there's going to be a big economic crisis because the price of gold, the value of gold is going to go down since it's so much, so much easier to obtain now. Okay, is this, uh, does this path lead anywhere? Got my shovel. This is probably the most efficiently I've ever done a survival. Um, okay, there's this. I, I want to see if this pathway, I don't think it does. It's... The shape is telling me that this is kind of a dead end, but I still want to explore just in case there's any gold. No, there's iron, which I, I guess I can get. I, don't, I only have seven iron? I, I feel like I definitely mined more, mined more of it than that. Uh, okay. And hopefully, when you mine anything at a lower level, hopefully you can find some other things around it. So, nope, I did not get any gold. I only have 15 iron, which is not very good. So, yeah, I gotta do better. Okay, so this, there's, n oh, yes, gold, I, I missed, I missed this one. Okay, yeah, I found gold, now I just gotta find diamonds in, in this episode, and then, yeah, this will be the, this will be the fastest I ever really found diamonds in a survival, if I find diamonds on this mining trip. Okay, I wanna know if there's, if I can go, uh, go lower, if I can travel lower than this. Uh, okay, is there anything? I oh, know this is kind of just where I mined. Okay, I want to see in this cave system, can I uh, go to a lower layer? Lower layer. Uh, okay, if I can parkour my way out of here without, you know, getting roasted. Okay, unfortunately, this cave system is not as big as I was hoping it would be. So. Uh, oh wait, I did not explore this yet. Wait, what's over here? Some There are random pieces of red nether brick because I used to have mods that gave me different ores, but then I got rid of them. So uh, they were replaced with random things like red nether brick, and it's, that hasn't exactly been fixed yet. So, okay, I guess I can just get more of this iron. Uh, yeah, so I will have to do... I, I really, unless I'm like getting a lot of cobblestone, unless I need a lot of cobblestone, I really don't like vein mining. I much prefer exploring caves. Exploring caves is very fun. Okay, I haven't, I haven't just like explored a cave in a while. It's, it's been quite a while. Okay, this looks like layer 11, but it's not. It's layer 17. I need to go down to layer 11. Okay, this is dangerous. Being a bad boy again. So now I guess I'll just have to vein mine until I find a, like a nice uh, layer 11 cave. Usually you find a pool of lava. Okay, I'm gonna, like, spend one minute vein mining, and if I don't find anything, then I'm just gonna speed. Oh, is this, is this something? Man, that's like a, quite a low, a low lava lake. Usually they're not this low. Okay, is there any, are any diamonds here? Come on, give me some diamonds. Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna look around here and just lapis. Maybe, maybe it's behind here. Maybe, possibly. Any chance? Or, or what about over here? This is like layer like eight. Yeah, this is eight. Okay, no, I don't see anything. I don't see any diamonds here. Okay, that was a waste of my time. I don't really need lapis right now. I mean, I mean, I, I guess I could use it, but it's. Oh yes, diamonds. Okay, finally, this is the fastest I've ever found diamonds. So, okay, yes, this is a. Uh, this is quite a quite a few as well. Okay, I don't want to burn any of them. Alright guys, so I have already found diamonds. That is the end of this episode, and I'm very happy to have found eight diamonds in my first episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in episode two. Bye!